Welcome to today's Looter, the show for and about the modern looter. Our, our guest today is uh, Mr. John Smith, a, uh, one of the world's most successful looters, a man who travels the globe looting disaster sites, everything from earthquakes to tornadoes to plane crashes. Please give a warm modern looter welcome to John Smith. John, welcome. Thank you. Now, last year, you looted the uh, San Francisco earthquake. And I think all our viewers uh, have the same question. What's it like to loot a big disaster site like that? Oh, it's a dream come true. Uh, you know, you read about wreckage strewn over several square miles, but uh, when you actually see it, it's just better than you can imagine. It, it really is. Now, the year before, you looted the Armenian earthquake. <laughs> Can you give us some comparison? What was, what was, our, what was Armenia like? Uh, that was really depressing. Uh, as it turns out, most Armenians are really poor. So uh, I really, I, I came away with only about two oriental carpets. And, uh, and that was it. Well, that's, that's got to make you mad. Oh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> go all the way over there and you think, geez, I could have stayed at home and shoplifted or something. Yeah, I know how you feel. Now, I understand you have an interesting story about that big plane crash in Scotland. Oh, yes. Uh, I was... It's a true story. I, I was uh, actually in Heathrow Airport and, uh, I don't know, a voice just told me, don't get on that plane. And uh, then that 747 went down but not the one you were going to get on. Oh, no. But uh, if I had gotten on my plane, then I wouldn't have been able to loot that other plane. <laughs> so it was a close call. Now, you brought some of the stuff that you, that you looted. Yes, I did. I brought one of the bags, anyway. Can you show us uh, some of the stuff you, you got right. in that looting? Let's see here. It's a good idea to use a garbage bag when you go. Oh, here's a... Uh, <laughs> this is a... Uh, a three-carat men's diamond ring. And believe it or not, uh, it was just lying there. Yeah. yeah. Now, I imagine that uh, when the swelling goes down, you could just slip the ring right off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But don't throw away the hand. You can often get money for these by selling it back to relatives for a burial or whatever. And it's good for identification, too. Very often, relatives will go to the disaster site and then you can go to their homes and loot that, too. It's good to know. Good point. Uh, what else you got in here? Well, I got just a ton of these little bottles and <laughs> bags of peanuts, and I'm all set for a party. Oh, wow. Just a lot of those. Now, is, is, uh, is it dangerous looting a plane crash site? Well, it is. Uh, -huh. uh, you could trip over a body in the dark, uh, there's a lot of broken glass and metal and stuff like that, and, uh, well, actually, technically, it's illegal. Uh, you could be arrested or, or, or even shot if the National Guard is involved. Now, how do you deal with it? Well, I dress up as a medic. Uh, what I do. And, uh, that works almost every time, uh. Actually, uh, that reminds me of a funny story that I wanted to tell you. I, uh, I was at a uh, tornado disaster site, yeah. <laughs> and there's a, a guy lying in the, the rubble, uh, half alive. You know, he's, he's still alive, and he sees me walking around, and he goes, Help! Help! Doctor! <laughs> <laughs> help, doctor. That's, help, doctor. That's a good one. And uh, now well, you, you told me before you perform, actually perform surgery. Well, yes, actually uh, you can. You can. You can. If you're dressed up as a medic, you can perform surgery. You know, if someone dies, you can just blame it on injuries. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, well, actually, I've uh, I've performed uh, surgery on on 15 people in just one disaster. Now, did anyone, any of them make it? Oh no. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, surgery is a uh, really complicated. Uh, no, no, I, I use no. I can imagine. 
<laughs> no, every once in a while, when you're looting, you run across something that just breaks your heart. And uh, this is a child's doll that was used to transport drugs in. <laughs> and when I, when I found the doll, all the drugs were gone. <laughs> and it, it just broke my heart. <laughs> Well, thank you, John Smith, for appearing on today's Looter. Thank you.